Hello YouTubers, uh, this is part three of the 74 Super Beetle convertible restoration and EV conversion. So as you can see, uh, the front fenders are uh, back on again. Um, acid etching primer was used. Uh, next step is to block them out a bit and then go to the regular light gray uh, filler primer. Um, and uh, getting close to going into the uh, paint shop here. So also the hood has been worked. Um, final block sanding still needs to be done uh, on the hood and trying to get it to fit uh, perfect was uh, quite the challenge. But uh, well, if everything's nice and smooth, all my gaps are nice all the way around. Uh, next thing I did is uh, the running boards are now on. And as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, I had to replace all the steel, a one inch strip of 18 gauge steel uh, all the way down uh, where the rocker bolts onto the car. Um, all the moisture and years of rot uh, actually rusted the car from the outside in. So that was all cut out all along there and uh, re-welded back in. And then uh, I used five eight millimeter riv nuts um, in that metal marked the positions on the running board where it needed the bolts and now the uh, it has new riv nuts uh, all along Let's see if you can see that up underneath there with the eight millimeter bolts and washers so so anyway uh, nice and solid um, also have the rear fenders mounted uh, these are brand new fenders with the paper stickers. I hate when uh, manufacturers put paper stickers and then you got to try to take forever to peel it off rather than using a vinyl sticker. So I got to get the stickers off. But just a note, um, when you get brand new fenders for Volkswagen Beetle, uh, they will not fit. <laughs> I don't understand why out of all the millions they make the repops of these things that they can't make them fit right. So... When you get them, uh, you're going to have to plan on some time uh, reworking them. Uh, driver side wasn't too bad. Uh, the passenger side uh, was a real bear. Um, it did not fit. And I still, I probably have a day and a half uh, into this fender off and on, off and on, uh, remolding it and uh, getting it to fit the body lines. And I still need to take it off one more time. Um, a little bit raised up right here, so it needs to go down probably another eighth of an inch, so that needs to go in. Uh, but other than that, it's close. Um, back trunk lid's on, uh, and again, this whole car was taken down to bare steel with the media blast, and uh, the green is the uh, acid etching primer, uh, which really, really creates a, a really tough finish. Um, so it's mounted, fits good new bolts these are six millimeter bolts they use um, on this so this part's pretty much done i have a couple little things on this side that uh, need to be reworked out a little bit uh, with a thin coat of filler and then blocked but anyway uh, car's getting close um the other thing i did is uh rebuilt the steering column um you can see it has a brand new key now um, and I covered in the previous video, I think, with the new steering wheel with the six bolt and the Grant uh, three bolt adapter. Uh, but anyway, uh, I took out the entire steering column, uh, took the turn signal and uh, wiper controls out, cleaned everything, lubed everything, uh, pulled the entire uh, lock assembly out, and also the, the contactor. Um, that connects to the ignition key. So I figured as long as I'm digging in there, cleaning everything, that I'd replace that. Um, also the main bearing, there's a, a roller bearing uh, that's inside the top of the column that was removed, cleaned, and, and re-greased, packed back up with grease again. Um, so everything's working like brand new. So if you have a Volkswagen Super Beetle, uh, or even a regular Volkswagen, uh, this is the new mechanism. And if you look at my other videos, uh, please subscribe. Check out my other videos on YouTube. 
uh, on my channel. Hit the like button and uh, ring the bell for new uh, videos that are posted. Try to get out one every week now. Um, but this is the steering lock mechanism for the key. Um, and this fits a lot of Volkswagens. Uh, all the way from the 70s up into the 80s and 90s, the Volkswagen Jettas and stuff, they, are, they all use the same mechanism. And you get these on Amazon for, I think it was like 10, 12 bucks. So you can't beat it. Um, here's the old one uh, that was replaced and uh, the tumblers and stuff that was all gummed up and uh, it really wasn't working right and jamming. And at the bottom of the lock mechanism inside that when you pull it out is the contactor switch for your ignition key and uh, starter, all that stuff. So I figure as long as I'm digging in there, I'd replace that. And this is quite common item too on Amazon for, I think it was like eight bucks. Um, so anyway, uh, my thing will have this replaced uh, in it. Um, if you look at my other video on my VW thing that I've got. Um, so I ordered a separate one of these. I'll replace it. And then I have a new one of, uh, I guess they call it an electrical contact or ignition assembly. Uh, a new one and that'll be replaced too on the thing. So, so that's it. Next is the hazard light. Uh, my hazard switch, uh, when I pulled it out the previous owner, just had all the guts, uh, must have blew out of it. So, so I got a new one. Um, this was like six or seven bucks. And I think I got this on eBay. Um, so I'll get that wired up and wrung out. And you see all the contactors and then the little uh, current limiting resistor in there for the uh, probably the light inside that flashes. So um, anyway, so that'll go in today. Uh, but anyway, the goal is to uh, finish up the body work in the next day or so. Uh, get all the filler primer on, block it one more time. And then it's ready for paint. But the challenge is with the Corona thing going on, um, trying to get it into paint. It's probably going to be a delay. So um, mechanically, again, this has all been rebuilt. And the car is like better than brand new now. All mechanically, transmission rebuilt, everything. Disc brake conversion on the front, as I covered in the previous video. Um, so I might put this back in the, the main garage for storage for a little bit. Also, my electric components, um, it's getting to be a challenge uh, trying to get these uh, with the corona thing happening too for the electric components I need for the EV conversion. So anyway, um, this is about as far as I can go right now with parts and also paint. So I may put this up in storage for maybe a month or two and then I'll bring the thing over and uh, start working on it. Um, basically a total restoration like I did this one disc brake conversion, master cylinder, everything complete on the thing. And then here's the uh, 1600 dual port uh, that's going to go into the thing. Um, and this is uh, a really nice motor, really strong. It's only got 40,000 miles and looks like the heads have been redone and ported out. And it's got a lot of juice to it. So anyway, that's it for now. Um, and I'll show you a couple uh, other things. Good to have uh, some body hammers. Um, these aren't that expensive. I got them at Harbor Freight um, and it comes with various tips. I like using the, the square hammer end and then occasionally getting into creases. I like uh, using just this kind of like chisel end um, and then you get the hammer and it comes in a plastic case and everything. The one thing I really like is this one. It's got a round end but it's got a pointed end on the one end. So if you have a body panel and you see after your rough sanding, you're seeing metal shining through like in a little round dot or something's raised a little bit, what you could do is just uh, tap it around and leave these perforations kind of like that in the steel. Don't hit it too hard. And what it's doing is the high spot, it's shrinking the steel down and it'll end up uh, getting level or just a little bit below the surface. Then you could take your filler and then hit it again, that sort of thing. But I like using this a lot. Um, the little small dings that are raised and you see the metal shining through. Um, and again, just go around and just take your time and just tap that in that sharp point 
will actually shrink the steel down and, and take out the dent or, or take it down level. So, and then I have a couple uh, mallet came with a kit. Use that one quite a bit. I like this one uh, for getting up into corners of fender lips, that sort of thing. And then I had some scrap steel around. And I like this one I made out of some old scrap pipe I had around. I think it was a maybe even a piece of trailer hitch um, receiver, two inch. Um, so anyway, I had that laying around and I just cut off a piece and then I ground the edges smooth on it. But I like this because it's got a lot of mass to it and it's got all flat surfaces on all four sides. So it comes in handy. But again, these aren't that expensive. Pick them up at Harbor Freight pretty cheap. Um, and that'll definitely help you out. Also, um, when you're doing a thin skim coat of filler on a body panel, um, there are body fouls that you could buy from some of the places on eBay or Amazon or even Eastwood. Um, but I have this old file. I don't even remember where it came from. I think I got it at a yard sale for a couple bucks. And one side is extremely rough, and then the other side is more fine. And I use this all the time. So once you put your body filler on, uh, hit it with this just lightly. Um, it's going to save you a lot of sanding if you have a body foul. So here's kind of like my fabrication center for building my other hot rods. Please check out my other hot rod videos, uh, custom fabrication, stretching bodies, doing chops, that sort of thing. Also my solar projects. And uh, for, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, even the bell, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. But uh, anyway, this is my fabrication. I just got it on the wall of the garage here. I have all my air tools. And ztfab.com, uh, if you go on to Z, as in zebra, uh, tfab.com, uh, they make these really cool bracket wall mounts for all your air tools. And up in here, you can see they have a little slot uh, where you just put up and just it just hangs on there. So I have all my air tools here my grinder, my chop saw, my drill, another cutter, sander, I use that one quite a bit, and I showed you the, uh, the panel crimper. And then I like my uh, half inch um, air, air sander, oops. And, uh, and then I have another air chisel, and then I took a round chisel, and I just uh, cut off the end and I rounded it. So if I have some inner body panels or some heavy steel I need to pound flat or get the dent out or whatever, I could always, you know, bring bring that bad boy out. So anyway, everything hangs, and they have a area for spray cans. And then down below, I have ZT Fab, uh, their grinder station. So I have my battery powered grinder, I have my flap wheel, um, and then I have my uh, workhorse here, which is my four inch uh, Makita uh, cutoff wheel. And then up top, they have these little prongs uh, on the top that are made into the uh, wall bracket and you just take your extra disc and slide them on so i have an assortment here of different sizes and different types of uh, cutoff wheels so anyway just trying to get organized a little bit here in the shop and uh, again ztfab.com uh, is, is where you get these at and then they also have tubes for uh, tig welding tubes uh, a bracket goes on a wall then you have plastic uh, tubes that slide into it and you keep all your your TIG welding rods instead of what I'm doing here and just keeping them on the back of my TIG welder. So anyway, hope that helps. All right, even more progress today. So the uh, fenders are final fitted. The trunk is adjusted, which took some doing from the factory. These Super Beetles had just terrible gaps. So uh, took some fiddling with the mounting brackets, but the uh, Rear deck lid is on now, working fine, clearing up the top there so when it gets painted, a little bit of thickness of the paint won't be chipping when it opens, clear and nice. Um, everything now has got the filler primer uh, ready to block and sand probably two more times and then it's off the paint. Um, anyway, the front fenders, same thing. Uh, just have a couple little minor dings uh, that the dent out and uh, do the final blocking and finishing on that. So uh, anyway, getting about done. So uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. 
uh, hit the like button, and if you want uh, alerts, uh, hit the bell. So, anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.